It's Cece, and today I'm coming to you with a tag video. Feels like it's been a while since I've done a tag, even though I know it hasn't, but I'm very, very excited about this tag because it is a very different tag, and I'm a very big fan of that. Apparently, I'm also a big fan of the word very. I'm gonna use that a few more times. Very, very, very. Anyway, the tag that I'm going to be doing today is the Bookshelf Curiosities tag. This tag was created by Kirsty from my book portals, and she's also the person who tagged me, and I think this is such a cool tag because it isn't about books, it's about all the other stuff that's behind me. As I'm sure you've seen in many, many of my videos, I love trinkets on my shelves. Seriously, I am obsessed with covering my shelves. I love the books on there, and then I gotta put everything else on. So there are 24 questions, and I'm going to tell you about a bunch of stuff that's behind me, and I hope you enjoy! And just so you know, I tried to keep the answers for Funko Pops to a minimum, because we know how many of those I have. Also, I didn't get anything off the shelf, so I'm probably gonna have to pull out my, uh, my stepladder a few times to get stuff from up there, because I can't reach that. Question number one is, what is the oldest thing on your shelves? I already have to get out the stepladder. The oldest thing that I have on my shelves is this little guy. This is a little statuette of Winnie the Pooh with the year 2000 on it, and this was a gift from my mother when I graduated kindergarten. Graduated doesn't seem like a real word that can be applied to kindergarten, but there was still a ceremony, and actually after kindergarten I was homeschooled for multiple years, so I didn't have a lot of other end-of-the-year public school experiences besides kindergarten. But yeah, this thing is 16 years old now, officially, and that definitely makes Winnie here the oldest thing on these shelves. Question number two is what is the newest thing on your shelves? The most recent addition to my shelves comes with Elsa. She is a Funko Pop mystery mini that just came in my Owl Crate box, and she's definitely the newest because I just opened Owl Crate on Sunday, I'm filming this on Wednesday, She's brand new, and she looks super cute next to Big Elsa up here, and I'm very glad that I have her. Question three is, show something book-related. Pretty much anything book-related that I have behind me is Harry Potter-related, so I just chose something Harry Potter-related, and the thing that I chose to show off is my wand. Now, this is not any specific character wand, this is my wand. When my local theater showed the second to last Harry Potter movie, so Deathly Hallows Part 1, they had a woodcarver come into the theater and he was making, uh, he was making wands. And you got to decide on the type of wood that was used and the general shape, and my mom bought me this when we went to see it, so this is not a specific character's wand. I do have one of those, but this is my wand and I'm very, very fond of it. Question four is for showing off a Funko Pop. As you can imagine, this was a difficult question for me, so instead of showing off a specific Funko Pop that's my favorite, I decided to show off a shelf. Namely, my Doctor Who shelf. I'm gonna talk while you're seeing this clip, but my Doctor Who shelf is one of my favorites because it is definitely the most Funko populated shelf of any of the shelves I have. There are a grand total of nine Funko Pops on that shelf, besides there being a few other things, the mystery mini Lego figures that I have, but I love the way all of my Doctor Who Funko Pops look together. I adore Doctor Who, and that just makes this shelf really, really fun overall. Plus, it's lined up perfectly so you guys get to see it all the time, which I think is exciting. Question number five is show off something Harry Potter related, and guess what? This is gonna be Funko too! <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna talk while you see the clip because I can't pick up all of it, but the thing that I want to talk about is my Hogwarts Express. So, the Hogwarts Express are three Funko Pop rides that they have now made, and I think they're absolutely incredible. Each carriage comes with an original member of the trio in whatever they are wearing when you first see them getting on the Hogwarts Express. This means Ron has dirt on his nose and he's got a chocolate frog, Harry's in oversized clothes and his glasses are bandaged, and Hermione has books, and this is such an amazing thing because it takes up an entire shelf, but it's so worth it because I think it's utterly beautiful. You did not get to see this in my bookshelf reorganization because I got it shortly after I reorganized my bookshelves and I moved some stuff around so it would have a central location, but I'm in love with it. It has become my new favorite Funko thing that I own and it's gonna be very hard to beat it ever. Question six is to show off something Disney related and I'm going to go with my Mickey Mouse mug. As you can see, my Mickey Mouse mug is where I keep all of my bookmarks. By the way, I've seen people do like a guide to the bookmarks I own, which I think is kind of a fun video. If you guys are interested in that, I'd do that because I have a lot. But this was a gift from Janelle for Christmas, 
and I just think it's super adorable. I have a lot of themed mugs, so some of them I, I drink out of a lot, and some of them are used for storage purposes. But I just think Mickey looks so happy smiling on my shelves, and he does a very good job of holding all my bookmarks. For item number seven, I am supposed to show off a candle, but I do not keep candles on my bookshelves. I don't keep candles anywhere near any kind of paper object. It's just kind of a thing for me, definitely. But I do have a candle in my room, and so I thought I'd just show that off anyway. I have what is left of a gourmet espresso candle, and this is from Bath and Body Works. It smells incredible. Like, you can see how much is left of that. There, it's almost gone, and it's because I burn it constantly because it smells absolutely amazing. So this is not on my shelves, but it is right next to my shelves on my nightstand, and I thought that, you know, candle, show it off anyway. For question eight, we are supposed to show off a holiday or vacation memento, and I've decided to go with my pop-up fold-out books. If you don't already know this about me, I have a lot of mementos from traveling because I spent fall semester of last year traveling around Europe, which was amazing. But I decided this was kind of a fun set to show off, but they are are basically pop-up fold-out books of various locations. I would buy one anytime I found it where I was traveling, so I have one for London, Paris, Rome, and then specifically within other places I have one for the Tower of London and for Shakespeare, which is about Shakespeare's life. Really hope you can hear the lawnmower outside, that'd be great. But I love these, I think they're really fun. My rule was that I couldn't get one unless I actually went to that location, and so I really love the five that I have. Item number nine is to show off a bookend. I only have one bookend on my shelf, but I'm a huge fan of it. It's a really simple bookend, but it is basically just this big B for bookend. Uh, I believe this is from Ikea. My mom has a bunch of them upstairs on her shelves, so she gave me this one. It's super, super useful. It's nice and heavy duty. I use it to hold together all my graphic novels and comics because comics fall down super easily and they really need to be held in place. For question number 10, we are supposed to show off the weirdest thing on our bookshelves. These aren't personally weird to me, but I do get a lot of questions about them when you can see them in the background of my video, and that is my dinosaurs. So, I'm not like a super huge fan of dinosaurs or anything specifically, but these dinosaurs are actually from the show Firefly, and that is why I have them. They were another gift from Janelle. I feel like I have a lot of those in this video. She gives me a lot of great stuff. I have to display it all. But these are the dinosaurs that are at the beginning of the very first episode, and um, Wash has these two dinosaurs that go on the, like, dashboard of Serenity, and he makes them talk to each other, and these do have speakers. They say the lines back and forth, and I think they're super fun, but I recognize that a lot of people kind of think it's weird when they see dinosaurs behind me. For question 11, I'm supposed to show off an animal, and I'm going to go with a fake animal, and that is a dragon. So this was a gift from my grandparents. It is a glass dragon that they gave me, and this dragon sits by my inheritance cycle, because obviously. But I absolutely love this dragon. I think he's completely beautiful, and I love the way he looks. For question 12, I am supposed to show off a photograph or picture on my shelves, and I'm gonna go with one right there. So this photo on my TBR shelf is a photo of me and Janelle, our first year at college, and there is an annual dance that takes place in December, the holiday ball, and the theme our first year was uh, Gatsby. So this is just a photo of us at that dance, back when my hair was much darker, before I changed it again. I do that a lot. The next few questions are all going to be color themed, so I'm going to try to shoot through these really quickly, but I just have to have an item for each of these colors. First up, we've got black, and I'm going to go with my Iron Throne. This sits up at the top of my bookshelves, like on the very top in between some Funko boxes, but this is actually an ornament, so at Christmas it comes off of my shelves and it hangs up on our tree. This was from my mom. I love the show Game of Thrones, but I also cosplay Arya, and she is the one who made most of my costume. So after I cosplayed Arya that year and I won a few cosplay competitions, she decided to get me this ornament, and it's super cute, and I love that it looks just like a normal Iron Throne, and you can't really tell it's an ornament, but I think it's super cute. Next up, we have a white item, and I'm going to go with my Jane Austen bust. It's just a bust of Jane Austen, and I got it while I was visiting Bath, and I went to the Jane Austen Center, and they have a lot of really wonderful Austen stuff, but this is the one that I display on my shelves. And it just says Jane Austen, and then it has the first line from Pride and Prejudice, and I just really like this. I just think it's really cool, and I love the way it looks on my shelves. Next up, we have a yellow item, and I hope you'll forgive me. This isn't totally yellow, but it's the closest I could come, and that is this thing of perfume. So this perfume is from my aunt, and the reason she gave it to me, if you can tell, the name of it is Cecilia Silvera, and my name is Cecilia, and so she gave me 
this perfume and it does actually smell pretty nice. I always forget to use it because it's on my shelf instead of with my other body sprays, but it's a very lovely scent. For the next question, we have orange and I'm going to go with a Funko right behind me. And I want to mention Sean. This is Sean from Sean of the Dead, which is an absolutely fantastic movie by one of my favorite directors, Edgar Wright. But this is blood splattered Sean and I think he's so cute with his little cricket bats. And I love that the detail it goes into that it even says, hello, my name is Sean with his name tag. And overall, it's just one of my favorite Funkos and he's got He's got the ginger hair. It counts. Next up, I'm supposed to show off something red, and so I'm going to show off my graduation tassel. This is from when I graduated high school. Not college. Got another year of that. But I graduated high school in 2013, and my school's colors were red and black, and this does hang between my bookshelves, and I think it's very pretty. And it's just like a nice way to remember the fact that I never have to go back to high school. Next up, something pink. I'm gonna grab this guy. It is another Funko Pop, and that is Bing Bong from Inside Out. I have been collecting the Inside Out Funkos, and actually now that I have Bing Bong, I'm all done. Have all of them. In fact, you can still see sadness in the background back there. <laughs> but Bing Bong is super cute. He's very, very pink. This is one of my favorite movies of last year. And I just have to say, if you've never held the Inside Out Funkos, he is super heavy. And actually, I would say that him, sadness, and anger are three of the heaviest pops I've ever held. It's like but he's super cute and very, very pink. For the next item, purple, I'm actually going to cheat a bit and I'm going to show off three things because I want to. So I wanted to show off a progression because this is one of my favorite things on my shelves and I just think it's really cool. So we're starting with purple. I'm going to show off this mask. I have three masks and what is really cool about them is how I've actually gotten all of them. So this first one my grandparents purchased for me at the Venetian which is a casino in Las Vegas. It was my first time in Las Vegas and at the, that point I was like I'd like to go to Italy someday and so this is something that we purchased there. A few years later and also purple my um, my grandparents actually did go to Italy and they brought me back another mask mask. So this is a mask that is from Venice and is absolutely beautiful. It has gorgeous detailing of these music notes and I love it. And then to finish off the set, this isn't purple but it has to be there to finish off the set, I have this mask. Last year in December I finally got the chance to visit Venice which is a place I've always wanted to go and I purchased this mask for myself. I think it's completely beautiful. I adore the blue and the music notes as well and so it just makes a great collection of all three masks that I wanted to show you. The next question is blue stuff and for that I just want to show off my TARDIS stuff because I love me, I love me some TARDIS stuff. So first, and this sits behind me so you will have already seen this, we've got my paper TARDIS. Before I owned any other TARDIS things I printed this off the internet and made it and I was very very proud of it but now I have slightly more impressive TARDISes. The next TARDIS that I acquired sits on top of my bookshelves and that is my TARDIS mug. I absolutely love this TARDIS mug and I do drink from it on occasion, you've seen me use it in videos, but I just love the way it looks on my shelves overall so it stays up there too. And the newest TARDIS addition to my shelf is the TARDIS Funko Pop ride. This is big enough that I can stick a Funko Pop inside because the door does open and it's empty on the bottom so you can just stick a guy in there. But I absolutely love this. It was a gift and I'm so happy that I have it because I think it looks so cute and I love it so much. And for my last color, I've got something green and that is these two little green frogs. They are glass frogs and I purchased them when I was in Murano? Murano in Italy, which is a little boat ride away from Venice, and they specialize in glass, and so this, these were a couple of the things that I got there, and I think they're very cute. All right, that's it for the colors. The next question is something made of glass, and I've got this Hogwarts Express uh, etched glass thing. I got this at platform nine and three quarters in King's Cross Station. There's like a little shop after you take a picture going into the wall, and I got this there. I think it's completely beautiful. I just really love the way it looks on top of my Harry Potter books. And it was one of the things there that was really pretty and I could display, but also wasn't going to cost, like, so much money. So I really love this. Next up, we have something that was given to me, a gift. I, a ton of the stuff I've mentioned has been a gift, but I decided to mention these because there was nowhere else I could fit them in, and I think they're really cool. It's another gift from Janelle. She gives me such good presents. But those are these. They are Pushing Daisies, um, like perfume sticks. You like roll them on and there are four and each one is for a different character in Pushing Daisies, which if you don't know, this is my favorite show of all time. So we've got The Lonely Tourist, The Darling Mermaid Darlings, The Pie Maker, and Itty Bitty, my fave. Actually, that's a lie. Itty Bitty isn't my fave. The Pie Maker is my fave. But you know what? I love Kristen Chenoweth. But these are super, super cute and I absolutely love them. And the final question is something that should not be on your shelves. Technically, 
I just barely organized these, so there's really nothing on here that I would say is like, that's not supposed to be on there, I need to move that. Pretty much everything is supposed to be on there, but I didn't have a place for this and it's kind of out of place. And that is this little black notebook, I don't know if you can tell, it says thesis on the front, there you go. And this is just where I jot down ideas and thoughts and books that I want to try to read for my thesis dates. It's my little thesis black book because I have to write a thesis. But yeah, that just kind of sits on a shelf because I have nowhere to put this, but I needed it to be in sight so that I won't decide to never think about my thesis again. Okay, this was a super long video, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up really quickly. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I'm going to tag people. I try to think of booktubers who I see uh, have a lot of stuff behind them on their shelves, so I have three people that I wanted to tag. Kristen from Super Space Chick, Alana from King Books, and Monica from She Might Be Monica. I think that all three of you have a lot of stuff behind you on your shelves that I always want to know more about, so I tag you. <laughs> I have more stuff behind me that I didn't cover, but I tried to cover as much as possible, and yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!